hot dog straw. Giant amphibian fossil, world's largest octopus garden. All of this and more, starting now. Hello, I'm watching, I'm watching BBC News. I'm Gareth Barlow. You're watching BBC News. We start in Australia where the Spanish women's football team are celebrating. Good morning, Iowa. Happy Thursday to all of you. It is 5.30 right now. A very busy morning for your family, especially as those kids get ready for the first day. I think it's Wednesday. Oh my God, did I say Tuesday? <laughs> Thursday. Thursday, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, not, that's kind of a rough that, reality. Oh, oh man, this is it's okay. my brain. Uh. <laughs> Outside, it's Friday, and meteorologist Kristen Curry is waiting to begin some sort of day. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to get sweaty. Yes, girl, same, same. I'm starting to get sweaty, too, and I'm in the studio, sister. There's Kristen wandering around like a freshman. What's happening? <laughs> that was the most freshman moment. Okay. She's not even having it All either. Right. She can't hear us right now. We will get back to her. She's on the UT campus, but you know what? It happens to everyone, freshman. You get lost, lost sometimes. You're sweaty. It's... it's <laughs> More than 100 degrees later today. <laughs> to put that into perspective, we have not seen May since May. Meanwhile, over in Cleveland, anchor Mike Brookbank is getting ever closer to the cutting edge in his quest for the perfect newscast. That change in ownership, the business is changing its name to creatively, oh boy, creatively. <laughs> creatively? Creatively. <laughs> <laughs> creatively. <laughs> Sip the hot cream. Please finish Sit, for Okay, me. I'll finish for you. Creatively <laughs> made and operated. Science. And to Science. celebrate this new beginning, they're rehosting a ribbon cutting ceremony this afternoon. That's going to start at noon. <laughs> we made it almost to the end of this newscast without some sort of mail. I did have ASAP. ASAP. <laughs> ASAP Rocky. Um, so we'll just add creatively. No, creatively. Creatively. Katie, please save us. Right. <laughs> We're looking pretty quiet right now. Priest. Temperatures are warming up into the 80s. All eyes right now on Hillary Clinton, or excuse me, Hurricane Hillary, let me get that right, <laughs> as it continues to track I mean, towards the uh, United States here, towards California. Elsewhere, it's midday, and anchor Valerie Chin is busy with an important story of her own. Experts discover the world's largest octopus nursery off of California's coast. Researchers call this the octopus garden. It contains about 20,000 peel octopi. They're about two miles down and 80 miles off the coast of Moss Landing. The discovery was made by accident in 2018 while researchers were surveying an extinct underwater volcano. It was a moment where we saw it and we all took a breath. We all got excited together and we just started babbling about what could this mean? Why were they here? Scientists say the octopi are drawn by thermal springs. Said. You're making me laugh. Sorry. I know. I, I, I thought I was, I thought she was so into it. Video. She was very into it. And it is very cool, yeah. I think. I, they eggs normally say. take five to eight years to hatch, but it takes under two in the octopus garden. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being happy to see something. The I enthusiasm mean, like jumped off the screen. Thing, yes. <laughs> That's about as scary as it gets. Oh my goodness. We're, we're glad no more, more, more no, wow. No Malfunction more. button. We are glad more people were not hurt. That. There we go. Meanwhile, back in London with newsreader Matthew M. Raleigh Walla, another thing is about to happen. Oh. Let's hear a little of that news conference now. I can hear the thing. Well, apologies, we can't bring you that uh, yeah, clip, but Charlotte Gallagher, our correspondent, has this report. As the public face of the PSNI, Chief Constable Simon Byrne, as the public face of the PSNI, Chief Constable you, Simon Byrne has been under an incredible you. amount of pressure over this data breach. Today, he said he was deeply sorry, describing the oh, breach like, as of an... In like, stop it, yeah, like that. Oh, what's up? Fuck. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. You don't do that on BBC News. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. 
Well. Well, apologies uh, for that confusion. Uh, that was our correspondent, Charlotte Gallagher. She's monitoring uh, what's been happening there at that news conference. Uh, we will uh, get more on that uh, here in the next little while. And I'm, I'm not Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> It's all Eric's fault. That's never happened before. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. I don't know. It's like looking in a mirror. Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> it's another morning in Chicago, and reporter Shannon Halligan is keen to think some big thoughts about bears. Well, you've got... I must say this is um, an interesting, well, it's a good channel. I've never seen like a channel like this. I have watched this be funny, but I didn't know this. Another one. bear video story for you this morning. This one is about a grizzly in Montana. All right, well, this guy was caught on camera using a storage shed as a scratching post. And just to give you an idea how massive that bear is, that shed is six feet tall. Oh. So you can see uh, in perspective there, apparently the bear's been using this to mark its territory for years, so wildlife experts had to put an electric fence around it to keep him from coming back. But, but he's there. He's like waving to you. He's like, hey, how's it going? I, you know, I think bears are just getting a bad rap. They, Do you? They, I mean, I've heard that they could be very friendly and, you know, they'll eat carrots out of your hand. Yeah, and I, I would not recommend that. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, yeah. it's not encouraged because they don't want the bears to come. But I'm just saying, I think they, they you know, got a Are you talking about, like, at a zoo? No, 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 like, in the in the wild. You but wanna, that, you're you're but, telling our viewers to feed bears No, but then carrots. they might get too comfortable, and then they'll keep coming okay. back, and then maybe not all the bears are as friendly, so. Hmm. Got some follow-up on that, but I think we're going to do some weather. But uh, interesting oh. perspective. <laughs> 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 I will find a video and I will show you. It's fine, man. It's fine. I'm so sorry. I can't get it together. Well, it has been a bit of a wet oct uh, October. <laughs> no, it's not October. It's that. August. Uh, it's been a wet August across western New York. <laughs> sorry. I'm going to have to do that again. No, <laughs> that was perfect. Uh, oh, man. No. Meanwhile, TV host Jeremy Rabe has invited anchor Lauren Barnes to talk about Halloween generally. Yeah. By the way, Lauren, I heard a rumor. I already know what you're going to be for Halloween. Oh, what? I heard a rumor. I won't say it on air, but I heard a rumor. I didn't hear. I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but I, I heard Lauren has a great costume. So That's out. so ominous. I don't. The one idea I had, I'll say it, is not original at all, and I think I'm going to bail. What? Barbie. That's what I heard you were going to be. Okay. <laughs> yes, but everyone's going to be Barbie. Oh. Yeah. But you could be any Barbie you want. I don't want to be weird Barbie, though. Oh. <laughs> Maddie does. That's what I want to be. Okay, well, Natalie can be regular Barbie. Okay. I'll be, uh, Skipper, but, one of the brunette ones. I okay. Mean, there you go. <laughs> or Midge. Remember Midge from no. the movie? No. Who was that? She was the pregnant Barbie. Oh, yeah. That's what, I was thinking about. Like, <laughs> what are you saying, Jeremy? Uh, no. <laughs> I just think it would be, you could be, you could be your own Barbie. Yeah. Whichever, I must say nothing. I'm going to shut up right now. You're going to draw a lot of suspicion, <laughs> yeah, a lot of right? suspicion from the 30 promise. seconds. Oh, it's sorry. just Barbie. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Jeremy. Sorry. Shh. Let her speak. <laughs> Let me segue to hot dogs. The oh, okay. There we go. What are you calling it? <laughs> I'm Lord, I feel so I'm bad. I'm going to cry. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. So. <laughs> okay. Okay, people. Men you need me to take this over. Oh, oh. If you could. Oscar Mayer is now introducing the hot dog kind of, straw. I think you kind of think the move. <laughs> Celebrates the one-year anniversary of a viral video showing a man using a oh dog, hot dog to sip his beer. Wow. Uh, but instead of using an actual hot dog. Come back, come back. I'm good. Okay, go. you're good. Okay, go. Ooh, oh, all slow. right. I mean, Matt, Matt, Maddie, you were doing great. Um, basically, that's it. That's it. It's a, it's a hot dog straw made of silicone. <laughs> No baloney was harmed in the making of that one. Um, oh, my God. It's just a straw. It's just a straw that looks like a hot dog. Oh okay, God. good. Ooh, I'm oh so sorry, God. Lauren. <laughs> Fine. Can I put myself together now? Are you Back crying? On the rails? I was crying. I'm sorry. Don't yes. Tilted off the rails. Are we way off? Which way? It are is we? so far gone now. It's so far gone. <laughs> I know Hamilton is not a fan of these storms, and your furry friend might not be either. It looks like the best oh. chance for severe weather will be moving in with the. Hold on. This is. <laughs> 
Hamilton. <laughs> now we gotta, <laughs> we're gonna have to do a little restart here, friend. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're the first kitty in three years who has ever managed to make it onto my back. Yeah? Do you want to be a parrot instead of a kitten? Tasked with the task of the last story of the Cats night, are, all that is left Cats now for Chief that, that, Meteorologist that Rusty Melberg is to read it. Tonight, scientists have discovered a new species of giant amphibian after its a fossil was found in Australia. Wow. The 240 million year old fossil was inside quarry rocks that was intended for constructing a wall. Huh. Wow. The so, new species has been named something I can't. You want to do it? Arena Repton. Uh, uh, damn near rectum. I mean, sup supine sand wow. creeper. <laughs> supine <laughs> sand creeper. <laughs> well, it had, it That's is an what? alligator. What are we talking about, folks? That's an alligator. Uh, <laughs> it is oh, believed to have inhabited it. freshwater <laughs> rivers <laughs> during the <laughs> Triassic <laughs> period. Scientists Sorry. say the fossil shows nearly the entire skeleton. Uh, Can we go back to that name in the prompt? I want yeah. to see that again. Uh, <laughs> Can you say that one again, God. man? All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see I here. Okay, I'm there it is. Uh, 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 arena. Repton. Supinatus. Arena. you got to say it with oh, the Australian so accent, I guess, to arena really get the full Repton. extent of it there. Supinatus. <laughs> Supine sand. We, we still got about a minute to laugh at it if you want to. The, sa <laughs> the sand creeper. Like, what would you take pride in your, just a, your, a sand? You know, I had my, I don't know, I don't know. I had my eye be out of my ear and I felt, I just felt like I wasn't here when I, when I, when I repeated what I said. I know, it's not an FCC violation, but anyway. No, no. I Look mean, at that big old mouth. It it's like it's a big fish. You. Good grief. So yeah, Good grief. 240 millions old, and it was almost a wall. <laughs> Did that guy find it? was him? almost Why a wall. Why is he posing with this right now? Did he find that? I think so. I think that's his, oh, his okay. uh, find. Uh, when are we done? And he chose that up. name. Well, he's, got about a, he's got all the angles in this thing. pose right now, too. Well, it's a big find, <laughs> so you got to be proud of it. Absolutely. I'm wondering Thank how they got the, the, the picture of the fish in the water. Oh, it's a, always an artist's sketch. Oh, it's a rendering. Yeah. Yes. Fake. Good afternoon, welcome to the BBC News at One. New figures today show the rate at which food prices are rising in our shops oh, no. has slowed down to its lowest <laughs> level this you. year. According to the British <laughs> Retail Consortium, food Canada inflation fell Canada last Canada month to 13.4%, thanks to the lower cost of staple goods like oils, Canada, breakfast cereals, <laughs> fish and fats. Here's our business correspondent, Emma Simpson. See, you went back to you. It's another day at a different <laughs> time, and anchor Lee Thomas is bringing everyone up to speed with the hottest new trend. Was that it? Was that Young people are now taking themselves out on elaborate solo dates, and I'm going to be careful here because this trend is called yes. master dating. TikTok is all over this trend. <laughs> I can't do it. Because. It doesn't just include dates. It might also involve buying yourself some nice gifts. <laughs> Take yourself to dinner first. <laughs> uh, even spending uh, some time uh, with buying yourself some flowers. One expert suggests that your co-anchor keep reading the rest of this, but she won't because she wants me to laugh my way through this. <laughs> now you can send yourself flowers in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> with a card that says, can't wait to see you tonight. Come on, man. Is this real? The point is to love yourself as a person and realize you deserve good things. <laughs> oxygen. Somebody. Steve, you got oxygen over there? <laughs> It's called <laughs> Master Dating. <laughs> it's a solo date with yourself. <laughs> Come oh. on, Howard. Get me. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, Lord. Help 
told me. <laughs> you can't. Man, it's, it said it all in the prompter. I didn't make any of that up. I didn't make. Why didn't you help me? Why didn't you help me? <laughs> okay. I, oh, oh, say it slow as possible. Divide the words. Be careful. Oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> nope. I don't need pulse up. I do not need it. Seriously, do it. Do it. <laughs> now you got one. <laughs> Here's the thing. That, it's not funny to me at all. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Lee was so sure that he was going to be able to breeze through that story. And I said, no, you're not. Ain't no way. I tried to read it. And I've actually never seen you lose it before. Ooh. And that was so enjoyable for me. Oh, I got a tear in my eye. Okay. Oh, it hurts. Oh, thank you for that. Uh, you're welcome. Are you a big master dater? <laughs> Man, here we go. We want to hear what your comments are and thoughts on anything you yes talked about. That's bad news. I know everyone thinks, hey, maybe next month we'll get better. Well, at least not September. You not yet. Are First week of end weekend of September. Oh, goodness. Bye. I bet you that you're laughing because you Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you're laughing because you don't want to... You don't want to embarrass yourself. You're laughing because... I don't know, but I'm I'm sure he does it and he just doesn't want to share it. Hence why he, he laughs when she asks the question. Around the type of when she asks the question. But that was <laughs> There were some things that I should actually laugh now. <laughs> because there were some things that I wanted to laugh at. Uh, not at the but like it's just laugh from like <laughs> I think I took it away a bit too seriously, but that's um, today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> <laughs> now this is turning into some like news bloopers. <laughs> it's like that last clip now. <clears throat> Have a great rest of your week. The next video will be the Northern Line video. Um, I'm worried that it might go. It might be. Uh, it might. I'm. I'm worried that I won't have to, enough time to get this Northern Line video done because I've. I'm a bit busy today. Um, uh, but I will do my best to uh, do as much as I can to get this Northern Line video up because I've already um, scheduled um, a video to come out which is uh, Trains at Quintus Town to go with the Northern Line theme. Coming out tomorrow in the evening, tomorrow evening. It was going to be in the morning, but I'm glad I, I chose the evening. I decided to change it and make it the evening. I've already uploaded a short to show you a sneak peek of what you're going to see in a video, the Quintus Town video. Um, nothing, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I want to let you guys know on that. Uh, like I said, I do post... Well, I, I will either say or mention it in the end of the video or I put it... If I don't mention, like, the vi next video at the end of my videos now, I will put it on my posts, on my posting page uh, that you guys should uh, check out. Um... I don't know who views it, but it's okay if if, if you don't use you, you, you view it. Uh, you can wait until like when my next video comes out. Yeah. So there's options there. I was gonna say five options, six. Correct me. Um, but yeah, I'll say a few options. Also, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Which will be either the Kentucky Saturn video or the Northern Line video. Yeah. Um, all right. Happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. Well, probably we'll be. Fe uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll get this up today. Do my best to get it up today. If you do get it on Wednesday, happy Wednesday. If you do get it on any other day, happy any other day. All right. Goodbye.